Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Talitha Two Moons, aka Tilly, and this is a channel where I do art videos and vlog it. Uh, today I'm actually going to be drawing a hand. This video is about um, some tips on drawing hands that I've learned in my artistic endeavors. Um, I would have to say that they are probably one of the harder appendages that artists typically have more difficulty or challenges with drawing. I, I've i been drawing for quite some time and I am a portrait artist so drawing body parts has been something I've just been doing for literally years. So I can't remember exactly what would what was like the first you know thing that was more difficult for me because I think when you start out at like eight drawing people everything <laughs> looks hard but um I guess it's just because hands are weird to begin with anyway so here are some tips um I have four the first one is lines line I know that's like very straightforward um, and maybe a little bit vague actually because um, when you're drawing it just and it, it doesn't I mean it doesn't it's not exclusive to one type of medium my preference is pens I started with pencils obviously like a lot of people but as I started doing more art I wanted to challenge myself and so in about I think it was around middle school I stopped drawing with pencils and just kind of drew exclusively with pens. So if you have any questions about how to, you know, be confident with pen drawing, um, I can make a separate video for that because it is something I love. I, I didn't actually learn how to do other mediums outside of like pencils or colored pencils until my senior year which was the only art class I ever took. Everything else I learned was self-taught and it was an AP art class which introduced the new mediums and that's actually where I fell in love with oil painting and I've been doing that ever since. It's been almost 10 years. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I would say that one of the first tips is lines. And by that, with with the body, no matter, you know, size or whatever or, you know, unique features, the flow of the lines is something you'll just always have to watch. It, they always go into each other, tendons, all of that connect. It's just be aware of where your lines are going. And then the second one are the joints because those are where the lines, even though they're flowing together, break up. This might not be the right technical perspective on it, but I, again, the way I learned how to draw people was not in a standard classroom way. <laughs> I basically just learned from observing people. I would obsessively watch you know, TV, specifically with people or drawings of people. I mean, obviously like cartoons and normal. Stuff. But anyway, whatever I was obsessed with, and then I would just sit and try to draw what I was watching. And it was like obsessive. <laughs> I literally sat there and drew for like up to eight hours when I was little. I had no friends <laughs> and no life. <laughs> Anyway, it was my passion though, so I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. I just really, really enjoyed art. And still do. Uh, so with the joints, obviously it's just like counting them. Like what, the ones you see. Again, it's observations. Because some people, you know, if you're drawing like realistically, some people's the fat content covering certain tendons and joints is going to be more sometimes it's less I myself have somewhat bony hands so my joints stick out um 
Thank you, Art, because that also has worn my hands <laughs> into oblivion. But it's the sacrifice we artists make sometimes to do our our craft, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And then the the third tip I have for you is shading. Shading is something that I had to really work on. I'm still working on it. I'm still reading lots of books, trying to study because light sourcing and understanding how the shade works on different surfaces is important. Um, Again, that is something I learned how to address verbally through technical books I've since read but when I was starting out it was literally just like what part of what I was looking at is darker than the other side and if you're starting out I would just say you know it doesn't obviously have to be perfect and this sketch I'm doing is pretty rough it's not perfect in any way so it's Especially if you're just getting the hang of drawing, I would just say, you know, do rough sketches. Really rough. When I drew with pen to begin with, I just kind of followed the image in my mind with a line. And then continuously went over it and then like drew circles for like where the breaks are or the joints. It it was like... I don't know, it's fun for me though, actually. (laughs) I had a good time. Shading is something that you'll always use, whether it be, you know, flat, flat, like 2D cartoony art, or, you know, 3D, especially if you're doing 3D work. Because even in the other, like the little cartoons, you'll see like two tones, at least, in certain, you know, parts of the, the shows or... You know, and it might not be as intricate or complex, but you're still going to see a shadow because it, it's interesting. Shadows are just interesting to look at. They capture the eye and then they make you think about what you're looking at. <laughs> and then the fourth and final tip that I have for you today is practice. I know that's like something a lot of artists hear a lot and don't want to hear anymore, but repetition practice like it literally shows you what you're doing and how you're doing it and like where to improve so um yeah practice uh thanks for watching like and subscribe if you want to see more i do plan on doing more videos on other body parts for my sketchbook sundays this has been way fun Everyone stay safe and again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you. Bye.